hello guys and welcome you back to join graphic tutorial so in this section of tutorial we are going to design a church flyer but it is going to be particularly about 31st ninth church flyer so let's get quickly inside the photoshop and let's start creating something amazing and this is also the resources that i'm going to use to create this wonderful and amazing church flyer so let's get quickly inside the photoshop and let's start creating something new so first of all I'm going to open my Photoshop and I will go to my new file. So I just want to type 1000 or 1100 here. Then I will type 1100 here. I will leave the resolution to be 300. Then I'll make sure it is on pixels. And this place is also on pixel per inch. The color mode should be RGB color because it is going to be a social media flyer. So let's get on and hit on our create So guys, this is the background that we are going to work on to create our amazing and wonderful Church flyer. So first of all, we will go to our view and go to our guys and go to our new guide layout so we are going to apply this guideline so that we will know that everything that we are just doing is just in the correct alignment so let's hit on ok and let's start something amazing so first of all i'll go to my file and go to my place link and i will start importing my resources so i just want to bring this background inside so i will make sure that it takes the entire background in this manner very nice and amazing so i'll go to my filter and go to blur and go to my gaussian blur so i just want to blur it a little bit like this until i see something like this so we are going to blur it to about a radius of 23.5 then we'll go on and hit on ok so after we are done with this we are going to bring another background inside so we go to place link and we are going to bring this background inside so let's make sure that it takes the entire background like this so after we are done with this we will hold on shift ctrl alt plus b just to desaturate this image then we we'll go on and hit on ok so after we are done with this we are going to select this same background and go to our filter and this time we go to blur and go to motion blur so i just want us to blur it a little bit like this very nice and very amazing so we will blur it to about a distance of 82 i think something like this is quite cool and amazing then we go on and hit on ok so after we are done with this we are going to change the blending option to color dodge so this is actually what i just wanted us to do very nice and very amazing so now after we are done with this we are going to um, create another layer so we just come to this panel here this plus over down here then we hit on it to create a new layer so in this layer we are going to select our brush and we are going to pick a yellow color so you can check this code out f3c13b then we hit on ok so we are just going to actually brush this down here so i just want us to um, create this um, brightness over the uh, down here very nice and amazing so after we are done with this we will um, go on and bring other resources inside so let's go on and bring um, other resources inside so we are going to bring this one also inside so we are going to pull it to this side like this very nice and amazing so we are going to select this same pin and change the blending option to vivid light so um, we are going to change it to vivid light like this very nice and amazing so after that we are going to take our brush or our eraser here then we will do our small cleanings over here so this is what i just want us to do so we will just clean it like this in this such manner very nice and amazing so we can just pull it 
to this side a little bit like this so with after we are done with this we can hold on Control plus j to duplicate the same image and this time we are going to bring it here very nice and amazing so let's pick our eraser let's select it and pick our eraser and brush or erase the sharper part like this so after we are done with this we can select the entire background like this and hold on control plus g just to group them so let's name this background like this very nice and amazing so after we are done with this we will go on and bring our images inside so let's go to our file and go to our place link and last let's start importing our resources or our images so i will just bring this image first inside the photoshop so let's place it here very nice and very very amazing let's go on and bring our second image also inside and lastly let's bring this image also inside very nice and very very amazing so these are the images that i actually want to use for this tutorial very nice and very very amazing so we can just be adjusting the sizes and the shapes of these images very nice and amazing so after we are done with this we can go on and select the images and just brush off the sharper part so let's reduce the eraser a little bit so let's brush the sharper part like this let's go on and brush this one too very nice and very amazing and lastly let's brush off this one too very nice and very amazing so after we have gotten to this place we, let, let's widen this image a little bit like this to make it more beautiful on the image or the design so let's brush off this part a little bit like this very nice and very very amazing so after we are done with this we can go on and select all these images and group them so this is going to be our images let's name it images like this very nice and very amazing so after we are done with all these things it has left for us to bring our title so we go to our file go to our place link and we are going to bring this title inside so we are going to open up the title like this very nice and very very amazing so this is what we actually going to get so in order to edit a title like this you can just download the psd title or the test effects of this title then you just go on and edit the same title to whatever title that you just want to do so for example i have this title here so what i would do is to just click on this thumbnail here so it will just direct me to the main test so you can select the test here and just edit it to any test that you just want to do so you can just type something like power so after you are done with this you can just hold ctrl plus x to just save it so you just go back to your main title then you see that it has been changed so after this you just go on and hold on all of this then you just go on and convert it to a smart object so after it has turned to smart object you can just basically use it in any design that you just want to use on so this is how i came about this title so i will just place the link just below the um, video so that you can go on and download this test effect and create any title that you just want to create with it so let's go on
so after we have placed the title inside i will just go on and select the images one by one so i will select the first image and go to the filter and go to camera raw filter so i just want to um push the vibrance a little bit forward then i'll put the yellow a little bit forward then i'll put the red a little bit forward like this so this is the settings that i just want to give so you can also pull the saturation a little bit forward so this is what i just want to apply inside so i can go on and be applying the same effects onto all the images so this is what i actually want to do very nice and very very amazing so after we are done with this we can go on and control plus g to group this title and we can name it just like a title very nice and amazing so after we are done with this we will go on and add some informations also to this design so let's go to our file and go to our place link so i just want to bring the church logo inside so let's minimize or let's reduce the size of the logo and place it here so after we are done with this we can go on and type the name of the logo or the name of the church to it so we can go on and use a font called roboto so we are going to use a font called roboto to do this so we are going to type the name of the church very nice and very amazing so after we are done with this we can just select it and make sure that the characters are just into what we just wanted to do so i just want to change the height of the test to 77 like this then the color of the test should also be something like white very nice and amazing so we can just reduce the size of the test then we are going to place it here very nice and very very amazing so this is what we just want to do so after we are done with this we can go on and be adding the names of the speakers so let's add the name of the speakers also to it so um then we add the name of the speakers very nice and very amazing so control plus j to duplicate this one then we'll bring the same thing also here then we are going to change this one to minister joseph and very very amazing so we can go on and reduce the sizes of these um, names that we have just brought inside to make it more amazing on the flyer very nice and very very amazing so after we are done with this control plus J to duplicate this name so it has left with the name of this speaker so we are going to type um, reverend eastwood very nice and very very amazing so this is what uh, i just want us to do so after we are done with this we are going to type um, the location of the program the date and some other information so let's go on and type the date of the program so we will just type something like 31st December twenty twenty 
3 so we are going to make sure that it is actually a bold font and we are going to reduce the size or we are going to increase the size to about 11 then we are going to reduce also the spaces between the text to about let's make it minus 10 like this very nice and very very amazing just um, under the main title so we can go on and change this font to a black font like this so after we are done with this we can go on and control plus j to duplicate this one and with this we are going to also type the location of the program so let's type something like church auditorium very nice and amazing the spaces between the text is so wide so let's continue to decrease the spaces within the text like this very nice and amazing so after we are done with this we can go on and reduce this one a little bit and just place it just under the um, our date then we can go on and pick a rectangle then we will draw a little box just under the church auditorium so we can go on and pull it just there then we are going to change the color of the rectangle to black let's also give it um, add some little styles or onto it so we are going to the appearance here then we are going to make sure that the edges of this rectangle is not all that um, sharp so we are just going to blunt the edges of the rectangle to something like this very nice and amazing so on this rectangle we are going to type the actual location of the program so we are going to type something like going to type something like let's make sure that it is actually a white font so let's type something like first guard station opposite marina supermarket So we are going to select it and make sure that it is actually a regular font and we are going to reduce the size to about six something like this very nice and very very amazing so we are just going to place it just inside the black box like this very nice and very amazing so we are almost done with this flyer so you can just go on and add your time also to this flyer to make it more complete and more amazing so guys this is the end of the tutorial so if you find this so amazing and so interesting you can just subscribe to this amazing channel for more amazing content like this so i just want to thank you and also i just want to wish everybody merry christmas and a happy new year thank you so much and we are going to meet in another session of tutorial bye bye